It's been a tough couple of weeks for Senator Susan Collins. In February, the office of Susan Collins released a statement saying, in part, quote, I support the abortion rights established by Roe versus Wade and affirmed by Planned Parenthood versus Casey, end quote. However, Senator Collins is facing significant backlash for supporting the confirmation of Supreme Court justices Brett Kavanaugh and Neil Gorsuch in the wake of a leaked draft opinion that would overturn Roe v. Wade. She told everybody that she felt that uh, Roe v. Wade was settled law and that Kavanaugh would not vote against it. Uh, people were gaslit by her and, um, and they're rightly upset. According to Senator Collins' office, the senator periodically gets threatening letters and phone calls from pro-choice protesters. According to her office, Senator Collins has also received threatening messages related to her support of Kanaji Brown Jackson, who is the first black woman to be confirmed to the Supreme Court. There's no way in hell I'm going to leave any information at all. Just you vote for that black I'll kill you. That's not all. Over the weekend, pro-abortion chalk drawings appeared on the sidewalk of Senator Collins' home in Bangor. Some of the messages include, blessed to be the First Amendment, SOS Save a Susie, and many more. Bangor Police Department responded to Senator Collins' home at 9.20 p.m. Saturday following the chalk messages. According to Sergeant Wade Betters of Bangor Police, the messages were not threatening. It didn't surprise me that somebody had done that. The Senate is slated to vote on the Women's Health Protections Act Wednesday, which will codify Roe v. Wade. It will become harder for people in rural parts of the country. It will be harder for people who are lower income. It will be harder for people to have access to these procedures. In studio, I'm Sierra Jordan reporting for ABC7 and Fox 22.